Welcome to Local Point, your life, your stories, with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, Chris Piner, and joining me today in the VTV6 studio is Marshall Taylor and Lily Van Dam, and part of the cast of the Uinta High School production of The Games of Foot. It's good to have you all here today. It's good to be here. I can't lie. These are some of my favorite productions, or my favorite shows, or when we're talking about uh, our uh, Uinta High School productions. And you've got something coming up soon here, right? Lily, when is, uh, when is the play open? It goes from May 9th to, through the 12th. Very good. So coming up here uh, very, very soon. And do you know anything about the theater, Marshall? Can you tell us about the venue? Uh, the venue is going to be in the small theater at the high school. Uh, everything is going to be online, reserve ticketing, and it's a great, great show. You'll be nice and close and personal with the, with the actors, and it's going to be a great show. Oftentimes our audiences for the little theater uh, performances come back just for that experience again. It's, it's so unique and uh, a great way to see a show. There are only about 110 seats in the little theater at Uinta High. So uh, do you know anything else about uh, ticketing, Marshall? You started, started to talk about oh, that? Yeah, ticketing is going to be online this year at uintahigh.net. Uh, they are going to be $10 plus a convenience fee, but you're going to be able to reserve your seats you know, weeks or months in advance, which would be great. <laughs> Maybe not months in advance. It is coming up pretty soon here. That's true. May 9th through the 11th. But you can get them all in advance and choose exactly where you want to sit. Come in and your seat will be waiting for you. That's one of the nice uh, features of that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Lily, can you tell me just briefly a synopsis of the play? What is it basically about? Don't give away any any secrets. Oh, not, not, of course. But um, <laughs> it's a play. It's a murder mystery, a Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. And, you know, it's got you guessing till the end. So it's really fun. It's been really fun trying to put it on. So comedy, murder, mystery style. So we get to laugh and take it a little lighthearted and uh, have the audience guessing, right? So if you have your scorecards at home, it could be one of these actors right here on the set. Uh, Marshall, will you just uh, introduce yourself and the character that you're playing? And maybe also I'll have you introduce the uh, actress behind you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, my name is Marshall Taylor. I'm a senior at the high school. And I play the character of Simon Bright. Uh, he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> and this person behind me is the lovely Daria Chase. She is a theater critic and uh, definitely a theater critic. <laughs> <laughs> the play set is set in uh, 1936 at a very kind of a swanky uh, Christmas party, right? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the guests that you'll see. Lily. Uh, I'm Lillian Van Dam, and I play Madge Geisel. Uh, she's a 40-year-old, and she's got kind of anger management problems, I think. <laughs> 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 um, and then this behind me is Felix um, Geisel. We're married, so. And he's kind of. Your characters are married also. Yeah, right? and we play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we play um, actors and actresses on the show. So. That's right. So you get to play actors and actresses within mm -hmm. a play. Actors playing actors. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Actors well, very good. So uh, <laughs> you you mentioned there's a little Sherlock Holmes feel to it. Yes. Can you tell me anything about that without without revealing too much? Well, we have. Um, our main character, Sherlock Holmes, William Gillette, he, in, in it, we, he like. <laughs> He's an actor. He's an actor. He's an actor who plays. <laughs> who plays. Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. And he kind of takes play within that. the play. And he kind of takes on that role as his real character, William Gillette, so. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So very good. And uh, so that's the little the little Sherlock Holmes twist. And do you know anything about the title, The Games of Foot? The Games of Foot. Uh, the Games of Foot is actually a reference to not only one of Sherlock Holmes's, you know, famous catchphrase, but actually a Sherlock, I mean, not a Sherlock, <laughs> a Shakespeare play, too. Uh, and it has a, some great Easter eggs along with the title of the, the play. The from, Games of Foot. That's yeah. right. Oh, from Henry very the good. Fifth. And we're being Henry V. Excellent, yep. Lillian. So uh, you can tell that or being a little bit cryptic, part of the fun of a murder mystery is to leave it up to the audience, right? So you can do some of the uh, the solving on your own, see if you can figure out. Uh, but we're going to have one murder, right? And uh, maybe and more. Maybe more. At least at least one. At least <laughs> one. And uh, and then we'll we'll let the audience figure out who that might be or who they might be and who is responsible 
right, for that murder. So uh, that's what they meant by uh, the guessing will happen all along. So one more time, let's just uh, recap the, the details of uh, the dates. When is it again? May 9th through 12th. And where? At the UNA High Little Theater. At the Little Theater. And what time does it start? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock yeah. p.m. Then I'll give it to you, Marshall, just mm -hmm. uh, as we go into the break here. What are the details on the tickets again? Tickets tickets can be found online at youwentohigh.net. Uh, there will be a link there that can take you to the website, um, and you can reserve your tickets. And tickets cost $10 plus a small convenience fee. That's right. So get your tickets in advance. All right, you guys did a great job. We'll let you get back to uh, rehearsal, right? But you all look wonderful. They came in costume today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, when we come back, we'll be talking with Aiden Piner and Zoe Woldridge and a few other cast members from the Games Afoot. So stay tuned. The Vernal Area Chamber wants to add your business in our network. Create change with various committees. Participate in community events and have a strong business resource behind your company's goals. Learn more at vernalchamber.org. Welcome back to Local Point. Let's welcome now Aiden Piner and Zoe Woldridge in the VTV6 hot seats anyway. We have a few <laughs> other people here as well. Uh, before the break, we were discussing the Games Afoot, the Uinta High School Little Theater spring production that is uh, coming up very soon. Let's just get right into some introductions and find out who these other mystery guests are behind you. Um, Zoe, would you like to uh, introduce yes. yourself and the character you're playing and then also the lovely actress seated behind you? Yes, I'm Zoe Woldridge and I will be playing Aggie Wheeler, who is a young actress and she's 25 and married to previously shown Simon um, Marth Marshall Taylor. And then behind me... Who was in the first segment. Yes. <laughs> behind me is Maya Taylor, and she will be playing Martha Gillette, which is William Gillette's mother. Very good. Very good. All right, Aiden. Um, I'm Aiden Piner, and I'm, um, I'll be playing William Gillette, and uh, behind me is Trinley Hatch, and she is um, playing Inspector Goring. Very good. Harriet, right? Harriet, Harriet Goring. Goring. Yes. yes. And uh, we're doing it this way. We actually only have two of our uh, guests mic'd at a time, so that's why for our tele our viewers at home, why we have the two silent figures in the back. And we wanted you to see costumes and see some more of the, uh, the characters. This is an eight-person cast. Is that right, Zoe? Eight people in this yes. thing. What is that like? It's a lot easier to work with, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and you get closer as a cast, so it's just like a family, like a second home. Very good, very good. And I've witnessed that as the director of this show. The the uh, the cast has created a, a a friendship, a chemistry. There's a lot mm -hmm. of laughter, and uh, you can tell that you guys like each other, right? You have a good time at rehearsal. That comes through. It's always the best plays when when uh, when that comes through. I think. Um, Aiden, tell me a little bit about your character. William Gillette, actually based on a real life. Uh, person, a, a historical yes. figure. Yes, um, William Gillette, he um, is an author of Shakespeare, uh, not Shakespeare, of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Um, he obviously took a lot from Shakespeare, shown in this play too, but um, he uh, also performed as Sherlock Holmes in over 1,300 performances in America and in um, London and on tour across the country and stuff. Europe and and the United States. Yeah, um, he uh, he was almost known as Sherlock Holmes. You would see him and um, identify him as Sherlock Holmes. He was a that's right. So a real a life uh, famous actor made mm -hmm. famous for playing Sherlock Holmes became synonymous with the character. Mm -hmm. And this was in the earlier part of the well, the latter part of the the uh, 19th century in the early part of the 20th century so a real figure yes right? and it's really cool he actually um when writing um he got the blessing from sir arthur conan doyle the author of sherlock holmes so 
That's right. They they were said to co have collaborated, but mm -hmm. really William Gillette did all the work and came up with some of the very famous catchphrases that we attribute to Sherlock Holmes, such as the games of foot, the games of foot, and oh, elementary, my dear oh, yes, Watson. Yes, yes. So, um, <laughs> put you on the spot there. He also um, really made the look of the. Um, the fox hunter hat and the pipe. Yes, yes, the deer stalker, deer stalker and the, the calabash pipe. <laughs> These were all creations of the real life William Gillette. So there's something for you to uh, to, to look up on the internet and find <laughs> out a little more information. So he accumulated quite a bit of money over the years of playing Sherlock Holmes and the royalties from his play. And what did he do with some of the money? Um, he built a medieval castle on the, um, not Connecticut, Connecticut Riverbank, yeah. That's right. And, and this is a, an actual historical site that, that people can visit and tour today. Yeah. So it happens to also be the setting mm -hmm. for the games afoot, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where this connection of Sherlock Holmes and a band of actors and an inspector shows up much, much in the style of Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, right? Yes. Or Clue or those type of... Uh, uh, mysteries where the audience is left guessing, right? Who is the killer? Is there a killer? Who's responsible? <laughs> Who's going to die? So all those fun. That's the fun of it. And there's also definitely a comedy involved here, right? Oh, yes. yes. So uh, I wish we had uh, Maya mic'd behind you. She is playing your 70-year-old mother. Yes. And she'll have a different <laughs> hair color when you see her on stage. <laughs> and uh, our inspector, Goring, is uh, out, of, out of element, right, as a female detective in the 1930s. Well, uh, thank you all for joining us here today. Just quickly, Zoe, the dates of the play again are? May 9th through the 12th. And um, what time does it start? 7 p.m. In the? Little Theater at the High School. At Uinta High School. And tickets are available? At UNHigh.net. Um, and they're seven, not seven, eight dollars. They're ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> With a small With a convenience, small convenience fee. fee. All right. And it starts at seven. That's starts what at I was 7 going PM. for. Yes. There you go. There was a seven in there. Seven thank you all for coming. And thank you for watching Local Point. That's all we have for this week's show. Stay tuned for this week's Community Calendar. The Vernal Area Chamber wants to add your business in our network. Create change with various committees. Participate in community events and have a strong business resource behind your company's goals. Learn more at vernalchamber.org. Welcome to this week's Community Calendar, brought to you by the Vernal Area Chamber of Commerce, building commerce one member at a time. For this week's recap, we start with Strata Networks, hosted a tour through their new data center. Take a look. Today we're at Strata's Vernal Data Center. This is a facility where we house electronics and computer systems to store data and um, be our part of the cloud here. So we had the radio stations and the newspapers all come in um, to take a private tour of the data center and just let them know what we have planned and what they can expect in the future. In here we'll see servers and switches and routers and things like that that are, the, are really the backbone of the internet. So when you store data or access a website on the internet, it's stored in the cloud in a, in a facility like this somewhere typically. The term data center is kind of unfamiliar for a lot of people, but basically what it is, um, 
it's our version of a cloud. What we're calling it is the Uinta Basin's hometown cloud. So when you store something on your iPhone, for example, you're not just storing it on your device. In most cases, you're storing it up on a virtual cloud. And that's exactly what a data center is. It's just a place for local businesses and community members to store all their data and information here in a local facility that's secure. Also, UBATC held a press conference to discuss their new national welding partnership with Miller and Nalco. Take a look. Today marks something in UBATC history that's landmark. Uh, our welding capabilities and opportunities for our students have never been better. We have components of supplies. We have scholarship components curriculum components and training opportunity components. All five of those elements are vested in the partnership. As we started the partnership process, it was evident early on that Miller and Norco truly wanted to be a vested partner with the UBTC. This makes this partnership very unique because everybody adds a key, an element to this partnership. And so at the end of the day, UBTC, we, we all win. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. But we welcome them. We would like to recognize our two students. Could you stand for just a minute? We have Ben Shea. Ben Shea just completed and is a champion at a recent competition held in Northern Utah. Recently, we went to the Skills USA competition at State and we took third in Fab Team. And then uh, we went up to Bridgerland up in Logan and uh, I took first there. I've been in the program since I was a freshman in high school. I'm now a sophomore. I put about 60 to 70 hours into my sculpture and I won um, a gold medal at the Skills USA State competition. And I, I sculpted a dancer because dance is my passion. I've been dancing for four years. I really believe that part of the reason we got the partnership is the quality of welders that we're putting out. And also, uh, the atmosphere is right here with uh, so much industry. Let's get into this weekend's schedule. Saturday, April 22nd, the Shriners Hospital for Children is having a free orthopedic screening, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Mason Temple in Vernal, the Masonic Temple, I think, right? Also on Saturday, When Life Gets Hard Conference is at the Western Park. Learn how to deal with tough situations in this morning conference. It runs from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, moving into next week's show, from April 24th to the 29th, Monday and Tuesday, April 24th and 25th, the Outlaw Trail Theater auditions for Showtime on the Showboat starts at 7.30 p.m. and goes until 9.30 both days. Have a little fun in a play. Get involved. Go to auditions. It's a, a melodrama, I think. You'll have a ball. You can't go wrong with that. Wednesday on April 25th, documentary film night is at the Uinta County Library, Chasing Ice is the film being featured. It follows a photographer as he follows the changes of Arctic glaciers throughout the year. I'm sure it's a lot more exciting than it sounds right there in that description, but uh, that's at 7 p.m. on uh, uh, at the library, right? That's showtime. Thursday, April 27th, UBATC Senior Parent Night. Learn more about programs offered at UBATC. Meet the instructors, win some prizes, and dinner is included. That starts at 5 p.m. at UBATC. Also on Thursday, VTV6 presents The Sports Spin. Mark Mason and John Nurden review and analyze Basin Sports. That's Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Don't miss that. Also on Thursday, Pay Dirt Barrel Racing at the Duchesne Event Center will be starting at 5 o'clock p.m. Learn more by going to their Facebook page. And Friday, April 28th, VTV6 brings you coverage of boys' high school soccer. Wasatch at Uinta. The game starts at 1.30 p.m. Watch live at VTVChannel6.com or 
Just go watch live. Saturday, April 29th, USU Uinta Basin graduation. That starts at 4 o'clock p.m. at the Uinta Conference Center. Coverage is being streamed live by VTV. These people do everything. Watch at VTVChannel6.com. Now, let's get into our weekend weather. The weekend lows average in the low 40s, and you can see it's going to get a little windy on Sunday. Doesn't everybody love wind? Next week's weather, we have uh, lows next week, averaging in the upper 30s. And it looks like we're going to get to see a little bit of moisture again. So if you are fertilizing your lawn and don't want to get that all washed away, plan around Wednesday and Friday. And it looks like around the weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, it's going to warm up again, so just perfect. On May 10th, the Women's Business Conference is happening at the Crossroads Senior Center in Roosevelt. And on May 11th, it's the Chamber of Commerce Annual Meeting and Awards Banquet at the Uinta Conference Center. That place is hopping this month. On May 13th, it's the Dino Half Marathon. We'll probably have them later on. Uh, we usually talk to them every year, but don't miss the Dino Half Marathon on May 13th. We haven't gotten enrolled yet. Well, start working out. On May 31st, UBATC is hosting their graduation at the Uinta Conference Center. I'll bet you already know about that if you're involved. And those are the events that we have for this week's community calendar. If you have an event coming up that you want featured on this program, well, let us know, 435 781-1902 or leave a comment. You know where to find us. Thank you for watching. Like VTV6 on Facebook and we'll see you next time.